a plague doctor was a special medical physician who treated those who had the plague. They were specifically hired by towns that had many plague victims in times of plague epidemics. Since the city was paying their salary, they treated everyone, both the rich and the poor. However, some plague doctors were known for charging patients and their families extra for special treatments and or false cures. They were not normally professionally trained experienced physicians or surgeons, and often were second-rate doctors not able to otherwise run a successful medical business or young physicians trying to establish themselves. Plague doctors by their covenant treated plague patients and were known as municipal or community plague doctors, whereas general practitioners were separate doctors and both might be in the same European city or town at the same time. In France and the Netherlands plague doctors often lacked medical training and were referred to as empirics. In one case a plague doctor had been a fruit salesman before his employment as a physician. In the 17th and 18th centuries, some doctors wore a beak-like mask which was filled with aromatic items. The masks were designed to protect them from putrid air, which was seen as the cause of infection. Thus, the nose half a foot long, shaped like a beak, filled with perfume with only two holes, one on each side near the nostrils, but that can suffice to breathe and to carry along with the air one breathes the impression of the drugs enclosed further along in the beak. Under the coat we wear boots made in Moroccan leather from the front of the breeches in smooth skin that are attached to said boots and a short-sleeved blouse in smooth skin, the bottom of which is tucked into the breeches. The hat and gloves are also made of the same sky in a euro with spectacles over the eyes. History The first epidemic of bubonic plague dates back to the mid-500s known as the Plague of Justinian. The largest epidemic was the Black Death of Europe in the 14th century. In medieval times the large loss of people due to the bubonic plague in a town created an economic disaster. Community plague doctors were quite valuable and were given special privileges. For example, plague doctors were freely allowed to perform autopsies, which were otherwise generally forbidden in medieval Europe, to research a cure for the plague. In some cases, plague doctors were so valuable that when Barcelona dispatched two to Tortosa in 1650, outlaws captured them en route and demanded a ransom. The city of Barcelona paid for their release. The city of Orvieto hired Matteo Fuangelo in 1348 for four times the normal rate of a doctor of 50 florin per year. Pope Clement VI hired several extra plague doctors during the Black Death Plague. They were to attend to the sick people of Avignon. Of 18 doctors in Venice, only one was left by 1348, five had died of the plague, and twelve were missing and may have fled. Costume Some plague doctors wore a special costume, although graphic sources show that plague doctors wore a variety of garments. The garments were invented by Charles de Lorme in 1619. They were first used in Paris, but later spread to be used throughout Europe. The protective suit consisted of a heavy fabric overcoat that was waxed, a mask with glass eye openings and a cone nose shaped like a beak to hold scented substances and straw. Most plague doctors also wore a brim hat, which was typically worn by physicians during the time of the plague, to identify their position as a doctor. Some of the scented materials were amber grease, lemon balm mint leaves, camphor, cloves, laudanum, myrrh, rose petals, storax. This was thought to protect the doctor from miasmatic bad air. The straw provided a filter for the bad air. A wooden cane pointer was used to help examine the patient without having to touch them. It was also used as a means of repenting sins, as many believed that the plague was a punishment and would ask to be whipped to repent their sins. However, the cane was not used to beat away rats, contrary to what historians originally believed when first finding the canes. Public servants, plague doctors served as public servants during times of epidemics starting with the Black Death of Europe in the 14th century. Their principal task, besides taking care of plague victims, was to record in public records the deaths due to the plague. In certain European cities like Florence and Perugia plague doctors were requested to do autopsies to help determine the cause of death and how the plague played a role. Plague doctors became witnesses to numerous wills during times of plague epidemics. Plague doctors also gave advice to their patients about their conduct before death. 
this advice varied depending on the patient, and after the Middle Ages the nature of the relationship between doctor and patient was governed by an increasingly complex ethical code. Methods Plague doctors practiced bloodletting and other remedies such as putting frogs or leeches on the bibos to rebalance the humors as a normal routine. Plague doctors could not generally interact with the general public because of the nature of their business and the possibility of spreading the disease. They could also be subject to quarantine. Notable medieval plague doctors, a famous plague doctor who gave medical advice about preventive measures which could be taken against the plague was Nostradamus. Nostradamus' advice was the removal of infected corpses, getting fresh air, drinking clean water, and drinking a juice preparation of rose hips. In Traitor Copyright Day Fardman's it shows in Part A Chapter 8 that Nostradamus also recommended not to bleed the patient. The Italian city of Pavia, in 1479, contracted Giovanni de Ventura as a community plague doctor. The Irish physician, Niall Aglecker in earned deep respect in Spain, France and Italy for his bravery in treating numerous victims of the plague. The French anatomist Ambroise Parra copyright and Paracelsus were also famous medieval plague doctors. Footnotes References Primary Sources, Nostradamus The Prophecies of Nostradamus, self-published 1555 and 1558. Reprinted by Forgotten Books Publishing 1973, ISBN 1-60506-507-2, Nostradamus. Traitor Copyright Day Fardman's A. Comfitches Self-Published 1555. Secondary Sources, Bauer, S. Wise, The Story of the World Activity Book 2, The Middle Ages From the Fall of Rome to the Rise of the Renaissance, Peace Hill Press, 2003. ISBN 0-9714129-4-4, Byfield, Ted, Renaissance, God in Man, AD 1300-1500, but amid its splendors, Night Falls on Medieval Christianity, Christian History Project, 2010, ISBN 0-9689873-8-9, -8 Byrne, Joseph Patrick. Daily Life During the Black Death, Greenwood Publishing Group, 2006, ISBN 0 313 33297 5. Byrne, Joseph Patrick, Encyclopedia of Pestilence, Pandemics, and Plagues, ABC Clio, 2008, ISBN 0 313 34102 8. Cipolla, Carlo M. A Plague Doctor, in Harry A. Miskim in Al, The Medieval City, Yale University Press, 1977, PPA 65 a Euro 72. ISBN 0 300 02081 3. Ellis, Oliver C., A History of Fire and Flame 1932, Kessinger Publishing, 2004, ISBN 1 4179 7583 0. Fee, Elizabeth, AIDS. The Burdens of History, University of California Press, 1988, ISBN 0-520-06396-1, Haggard, Howard W., From Medicine Man to Doctor, The Story of the Science of Healing, Courier Dover Publications, 2004, ISBN 0-486-43541-5, Hogg, John, Nostradamus, the New Revelations, Barnes & Noble Books, 1995, ISBN 1-56619-948-4, Gordon, Benjamin Lee, Medieval and Renaissance Medicine, Philosophical Library, 1959, Heman, David L., The World Health Report 2007, A Safer Future Ear Global Public Health Security in the 21st Century, World Health Organization, 2007, ISBN 92-4-156344-3, Kenda, Barbara, Aeolian Winds and The Spirit in Renaissance Architecture, Academia Iolia Revisited, Taylor and Francis, 2006, ISBN 0-415-39804-5, King, Margaret L., Western Civilization, a Social and Cultural History, Prentice Hall, 2002, 
ISBN 0-13-045007-3, Car Paragraph RNER, Christian, Mountain Biodiversity, A Global Assessment, CRC Press, 2002, ISBN 1-84214-091-4, O'Donnell, Terence, History of Life Insurance in Its Formative Years, American Conservation Company. 1936, Pickcova, Clifford A. Dreaming the Future, The Fantastic Story of Prediction, Prometheus Books, 2001, ISBN 1-57392-895-X, Poe Merville, Jeffrey, Alcamo's Fundamentals of Microbiology, Jones and Barkett Learning, 2010, ISBN 0 7637 6258X, Reading, Mario, The Complete Prophecies of Nostradamus, Sterling Publishing, ISBN 1 906787 5, Simon, Matthew, Emergent Computation, Emphasizing Bioinformatics, Publisher AA Florin Gamma Florin, A Florin Florin Cubed A. Florin one quarter of Florin A A Florin C Florin A Florin Cube D one quarter A one quarter SHC, 2005, ISBN 0 387 22046 1, Stuart, David C., Dangerous Garden, The Quest for Plants to Change Our Lives, Francis Lincoln Limited, 2004, ISBN 0 7112 2265 7, Ray, Shona Kelly, Communities and Crisis, Bologna During the Black Death, ISBN 90-04-17634-9, Fitzharris, Lindsay. Behind the Mask, The Plague Doctor. The Chirogen's Apprentice. Web May 6, 2014. Rosenk, Jackie. Doctor's Review, Medicine on the Move. Doctor's Review. Web. May 2011.